So what's the Grape Explorer talking about today? So as you know, I have a segment which is called the past, the present, and the future. And I talk about wine where I feel like I've had a little bit of history behind. That's why I bring up the past. And then I talk about the future because these are the things that we need to pay attention to today. So what we're talking about today is a wine from Uruguay all the way down in South America, which I think is the most exciting area in all of the world. We've actually talked about Chile and we've talked about Argentina, but we haven't had a chance to talk about Uruguay. Uruguay has a grape that I love and adore. It's called Tanat. And Tanat is a very interesting grape. It actually grows in France in an area called Madiron. We'll get a chance to talk about Madiron at another time because I adore the wines from Southwest France. Uh, we talked about Caor, and, and of course, Mataron is 100% Tanat. But this is a very, very interesting grape, and it really flourishes in Uruguay. So we want to really show you on the map here. We've got right here, this is the, the uh, area where you've got Brazil is over here. You've got Argentina bordering here. And then we're talking about this area right here, where this gentleman's winery is. We're talking about Bodega Pablo Fabrino. And he's in an area called Canelones. And Canelones is right here. And it's right above Montevideo. Mon right here. Right above there. And this is an area where I think people should really pay attention to. Because uh, 20 years ago, I was actually trying uh, Tanat. Um, and, you know, and I thought, oh, these wines are good. They're interesting. Of course, you know, I was always, you know, more interested in, in the wines from Madaron. Because I love Madaron. And I was importing Alain Brumont wines. We'll, again, we'll talk about that a little later when you're talking about wines that are like heavy duty from, from, uh, from that area in Matarone. But I always felt that these people had a chance. And now you come and you're getting small little growers who are exporting their wines to the United States. And this is a fabulous bottle of wine. You gotta pay attention. Look at the artwork that's also on this label as I'm identifying a little bit of this wine. So, uh, so this is state. The nose is uh, very, you know, you get a lot of black fruits. You get blackberry, blueberry, plum, all coated with uh, white sugar, clove, baking spices. The palate shows uh, crushed dry leaves and leather and blackberries. This is perfect with uh, grilled meats. And, and, of course, we all know that the Argentinians like to have grilled steaks with their mailbacks. It's the same in Uruguay. They like to do the same exact thing. They like to grill steaks, have beautiful, big, juicy red wines. And, and of course, these are the wines that I think Americans don't really know about. But I'm going to give you a little bit of a story, too. There was, a, there was an article in the New York Times about this grape, uh, Tanat. It's the toughest skin uh, grape that there is, like really heavy. And, and of course, uh, Louis Pasteur was doing studies you know, uh, 100, 100, well over 100 years ago. And he came up with the theory that why, why do people in France, and especially from this part of Madaron, live so long after eating cheese and after just, you know, drinking a lot of wines, why do they not only live so long, but they don't, they, they, they don't age and their skin is actually really, you know, soft and doesn't dry out. Well, they came with a study and it said that Tanat was the top gra uh, grape if you are going to have wine uh, for for skin, for also uh, for health, with the heart, and all of a sudden everybody was into Tanat and they wanted to really learn about this wine, and um, it was it was quite it, uh, it was quite it was called reversatrol, and this reversatrol people actually were buying pills that were made from the grapes skins of Tanat. So um, I wanted to share this uh, story with you because. I felt that this is an important part of my journey when I'm learning about Tanat and I'm learning about the grape. Of course, we call it the Grape Explorer for a reason. I really want to dive into grapes, but it is growing beautiful in this area of the world, which is Uruguay. We should pay attention to these wines. Americans should go out and try to find these wines. They're under the radar. They cost under $20 a bottle. I think that a lot of times it's even better than Malbec, and you should pay attention to these wines. Again, this is a great explorer, always trying to educate people and put them onto the path of really great wine.